called Revelations, you know what I'm saying? Revelations 12. At birth, I was given the name. Peace. Here we go. Another day <clears throat> from the deaths of Apocalypse, Dogs to God's Entertainment, with a quick word of reflection, a quick word of inspiration, with the help of Almighty God, Allah. You know, I was thinking this morning, early this morning, I was thinking about some powerful words that came through Brother Minister Don Muhammad from Boston. You know, and I, you know, just in my mentioning that, I reflect on the strength <clears throat> and the power and the force in and through the words of those who have been with the most honorable Elijah Muhammad since uh, the early days since uh, prior to integration <laughs> and right after integration. You know what I'm saying? It's something about the force and the power through the words of these, like your uh, Minister Rockman, may Allah be pleased, uh, Minister Abdullah, you know, I, I, there are words, may Allah be pleased. Um, Minister Kareem in New, uh, New Jersey. Uh, Minister Don. Of course, Minister Jabril. It's something about, and of course, the um, Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes, sir. It's something about the power and the force behind the words of those who lived prior to integration when during a time where it was no question that we had to be together. It was no question. Unity was not a question. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but something that Minister Don said, right before I came to Chicago, Minister Kadir invited Minister Don to DC. He spoke that Sunday and he spoke to that for a while that Monday. And and I'm, I was thinking about this lesson that he taught in reference to my position in terms of unifying our efforts. I'm an artist, I'm a musician, lyricist, producer, all of that, right? But to heart, you know what I mean? And so, and I heard the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan give us the ministries, nine ministries. I was personally there. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually losing my voice there because I was promoting the CD that I just released, Apocalypse, Face Yourself. And I was performing that CD the whole time going at my, at my um, vending stand, you know, prior to the minister speaking. And so he gave us the ministries. I embraced the Ministry of Arts and Culture to heart. And so the unity of the artists and all of us who would fit in that arena it's very important to me and so and I'm reflecting on these words from Minister Don and growing you know receiving more data and my understanding as to why that's such a problem and such a um, challenge <laughs> to bring us together you know he said <clears throat> in political science if there's an opposing pole, you don't attack that pole. You set up a new pole and play the middle. And he was teaching on that after he had talked about some of the history and the influx of black people into the nation of Islam in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, right? And the strength of the movement and how powerful it had become. So the enemy was like, okay, this is not working. We're pounding on it, pounding on it, but more and more people going to it, going to it. So this is not working. So let's set up another poll. And Martin King and the big six, you know, it's not a knock on them. Hell, none of us 
you know, Satan said that he was going to deceive the whole world. So none of us are excluded from that deception. And so, but he realized that after his meeting with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, that, wow, he got tricked. But they set this other pole up and then played the middle. They said, we can't keep attacking the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in that movement because it's bringing more people to it. So he had to set this pole up and play the middle and trick us, man, in our heart and mind because we wanted the easier route. See, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's route is do for self work, man. Like, you're not going to get to know here after just, just sit down on, oh, you think because of the raised couches, you're going to just sit down and be and chill and do nothing and have people serving you like that? No, nah, no, nah, it entails work. You know what I'm saying? So, the enemy set this up, say, no, you don't have to work so hard. Come on, we got you. We're going to take care of you. We're going to give you what you want. We're going to give you what you need. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they tricked us, man. So we ran to, towards this, and we got more relaxed. We got more, you know what I'm saying? We got lazy, man. We got lazy, and that laziness was instilled in us, and that you know, yeah, we're gonna remain slaves for the rest of our lives, and that's the way that's the route we're gonna take. We don't need our own land, we don't need our own schools, we don't need our own hospitals, we don't need our own you understand what I'm saying? And so we got tricked, you know, and then we got comfortable in that trick, <laughs> you know, and that's what makes it harder for us to get back to yo. And we're going to be forced back to it because Allah is shutting it down. Scripturally, that's what they had to do during the times of Moses. Allah had to shut that joint down in order for the people to say, okay, okay, we're going to have to do our, we're going to have to do our own thing regardless, right? And so, and so, this world, man, the Almonds Los Farcon in the final call back in the 90s, it came out more than once too. It had an article called Satan offers a substitute heaven i think that was the cover you know what i'm saying but anyway so he offers a substitute heaven so yeah we're gonna run after this substitute heaven because his world is established his world is you know but we established it you know it was established on our back blood sweat and tears and lives right and so we're gonna have to get back to that but we're gonna have to get back to it on our own because a lot shutting us down and so anyway so this gives me a lot return that lesson to my mind this morning so it could comfort me in understanding okay this is why it's so hard for us to come together on that which will cause us to build and establish our own on our own with our own yeah in our own <laughs> right but that's 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 the route we're gonna have to take regardless so anyway that's our word today from the Death of Apocalypse. Just a little thought. Just share my thoughts with you, if you don't mind. <laughs> so, listen, if you're in Chicago, we're at the foodie spot. Another another establishment that, you know, we, you know, we need each other. We need each other. You don't think so? I know so. We need each other. Shame 350, South Stony Island Avenue. Come on through. Show some love. Show some support. And uh, uh, enjoy your day. Peace.